Hi everyone, welcome back to Cooking with Al. Today I have a very special treat for you. I'm gonna share with you the Lau family famous shortbread biscuits. They are well loved far and wide and um, I have asked my sister and my mum if I can give away this recipe and share with you how we cook it. They've given their total permission because often when people ask them for the recipe, they give it to others. So um, we, this is a really easy few ingredient recipe. Um, it just requires the shortbread to be made in the blender, cut out and then put in the oven. Once the biscuits have cooled, then I'll show you the trick to putting the icing on the biscuits. I hope you enjoy watching me make it and I hope you give it a go at home in your own kitchen and make your own family traditions from it. Okay, here we go for the shortbread. It's five ingredients. Flour, icing sugar, salt, ground rice flour and butter. So it's two cups of plain flour and it's a dump. I just dump it all into the blender. So two cups of plain flour. It's a quarter of a cup of icing sugar. A pinch of salt. One tablespoon of rice, ground rice. And six ounces of butter, which is about 170 grams. It needs to be cold straight out of the fridge and just give it a little chop, throw it in the mixer. Right, put the lid on. So I'm just going to um, whiz it until it comes to sort of a ball. If it doesn't make a ball, I'll just add a little bit of water just to bring it together. It does make it much easier to roll out. dry so I'm just going to add a tablespoon of water all right that's done so just you use your judgment as to how much if it does need any extra moisture I did ask my sister Shan about that and she said she puts more butter in not water but you can see now the dough comes together in a ball so it makes it much easier to work with all right take that out just flour my surface my bench with a bit of flour dump the shortbread onto the bench I just pull it all together on the bench. I try not to work it too much. Okay. Flour the pin. I put some flour on top. All right, so this is probably about the right thickness. I don't like mine too thin. And they will rise just slightly. They'll just pop up a bit in the oven. Not a lot. All right, that's about done. When I cut, I cut usually from the outside, around the outside, and then I work my way towards the center. And if you cut, it gets a little sticky and the biscuits do stick to it as you're going around, just put them in a bit of um, flour. Some people have had trouble with this cutting action where the biscuits do stick in the cutter. I just find if you use a short, sharp action, it um, it works well. All right. I've lined my tray with baking paper and preheated the oven to 170. 
and I just use a butter knife or a kitchen knife just to help lift the shortbreads off the bench and onto the tray. And then once you've finished, just pull the dough back together, form another bowl, roll it out, and go again. Cook's treat. Okay, so now I'm ready here to put them in the oven. The recipe says between 15 and 20 minutes. Um, I would probably, I'm gonna go for the 20 minute end because I did get some feedback from my mother last Christmas about my shortbread. The feedback was they were undercooked. So to keep Sandra happy, I'm gonna go 20 minutes and see how they are. I don't want them to go too brown. I do like them on the lighter side, but it's gonna be a bit of a balancing act. So here we go. The shortbread babies are in the oven. You can see that the layers of butter and flour are already starting to show. Mmm, delicious. Okay, so the clock's just gone off for 20 minutes. Given Sandra's feedback, I think they can go in for at least another two to three minutes. So I'm gonna pop them back in the oven. Okay, so the shortbreads are done. They're out of the oven. Um, as you can see, there's some quite brown ones because they cook unevenly in my oven anyway. Um, and then there's some more less done um, bickies, uh, less browned bickies. Uh, so really there's something for everyone. I'm just gonna let these cool on the tray now and then we're gonna get on to making our icing which we do on the stove top. Okay, so now we're at the icing stage because the uh, shortbread biscuits are cooled. I'm just gonna add water to the bottom of the saucepan. Maybe fill it about an inch deep, but you do not want it anywhere near the bottom of the bowl. You're going to sit on top of the saucepan. It needs to be clear. It cannot be touching. All right, so I've added a cup and a quarter of icing mixture to this um, bowl. I'm just going to turn the flame on underneath the saucepan and allow that water to come to a simmer. And once it's um, at simmering point, I will turn it right down to low so it just keeps the heat going through the bowl. All right, so while that's coming to simmer, I'm going to add probably about a half a teaspoon of strawberry flavoring. I use this little dropper because these containers, I find, are notoriously bad for pouring and where you want one teaspoon, you get three teaspoons. So I use a little dropper to make sure I get And then be really careful with the red food coloring. You want it, I like my icing pink. You can always add more, can't take it out. So just add it little by little. All right, now just add oh, a half a tablespoon of water. You don't need much. It just, the icing sugar will sort of melt and dissolve as it um, heats up. And so just be really careful how much water you add. So I added half a tablespoon. Okay, 
so the water's come to the simmer. I've just turned it on low and I need to add some more water. I'm just gonna be really careful. So I'm gonna add one, another tablespoon. I've added half, so that's one and a half now. I'm gonna add another tablespoon, so that's two and a half tablespoons now I've added. I'm just gonna add another half a tablespoon of water, that's three. Okay, this is probably a little bit pinker than my mother would like. So I'm going to grab, change spoons. And give it a really good stir. All right, that is the consistency you are looking for at this stage. What happens though, as you use this icing sugar on your biscuits, the mixture in the bowl, the icing in the bowl will thicken and it creates a, like a little crust as you're going along. So you just gotta keep stirring it. If it does thicken, just add a, you know, half a tablespoon or less or a teaspoon of water and it'll just take it back to the right consistency. All right, so here we go. All right, so just take a little bit of icing sugar on the edge of my spoon. Dollop it on the top, put it on the sheet. So Lucy, we're here to taste the shortbreads, taste test the shortbreads, is that right? Yep. So I'm just having a look at them. The uniformity on them is pretty good and the amount of icing is also pretty good. So should we taste? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna, I like a bit of a brown one, so I'm gonna taste that one. And this one has a lot of icing. Can you see that? The best ones. Mm. The crunchiness is good. Mm. Did you put some sort of flavouring in the icing? Straw slight bit of strawberry in them. Mm. Well that's different to the ones that I make, but I like it. Is mm. it there's one like thing tea? missing. Oh what? A cup of tea. <laughs> Does it live up to the standards? Absolutely. Standards? It's a it's very, very good. I like it.